Hey folks, today I've had a request to hack uh, Ghost 1.0. Let's go ahead and get started. Skip the tutorial. And I'm going to put this on survival and hard. Now my table is not finished, so I will not be posting it just yet. But I do have some goodies on it that are not on any of the other tables, or at least I haven't seen them. But I won't ruin it for you. I'll just go ahead and showcase them and let you figure it out for yourself. That all looks good. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get all these items, and I'm going to get insane power-up. I might even get a little bit of these over here, the geek items. Let's see. There's all the items. Okay, that worked out just fine. Let's go back here. Let's see. Whenever our item slot, we want to do that. Go ahead and give ourselves the laser gun and that. Now this laser gun is really, really powerful. It kills everything, so I haven't seen that on a table. Also got all the skills already. Cubes, infinite health, one hit kills, and as I showed off before, I got all these as well, and you're able to use them as much as you'd like. You will not see me possess one robot. My friend wanted me to do a video on this and he wanted to also see how fast I could beat it. You will not see me ghost or do or possess one single robot. And if I can find another one of those uh, 3D printer rooms, I'll change my suit as well. I've got all the suits I believe. And there is a reason why I'm going down here instead of uh, going straight for the server room. The cutscene will not play unless if I come down here and kill the boss, which won't take long. Got 
gotta love being able to do that. I'm actually clipping through the floor to the next room. It's awesome. I can also jump pretty high as well. I won't clip through the ceiling though. Nothing up there. There's the door. And there's a 3D printer room. Great. Let's get the Dragoon frame. That thingy uh, allows me to run a lot faster. Could probably just hack the run speed as well. I haven't tried. That fixed it. I like how I run into anything and it kills it too. It's awesome. Don't really have to do anything. And this laser is so awesome because it bounces off the wall. And uh, I also shoot other little projectiles, but you can't see them because the laser is so huge. second. I'm going to go back up here and grab that key just in case. That definitely lights up the room, but it is very hard to see with that laser in the way. And in certain rooms, it just bounces off of the ceilings and the walls, and it just sticks around for so long. So, if you do it in the, I, I don't know if I would say right or wrong room, depending on if you want to see it or not, but uh, it will stick around for a good while, and you can't see nothing. normally think I would go through the hassle of finding a printer room or whatever to get all the way to the top again, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Oops, that didn't do what I wanted to do either.
should be getting closer to the server room. Are here, there. I can actually change the alarm level as well, but if you change it to an extremely high number. You'll be sitting in those uh, rooms for a while when you trigger an alarm, killing a bunch of enemies. Alrighty, here is the server room. I'm going to skip all the cutscenes and just go straight to the boss fight. should probably also hack it so every robot should be an ally, but it kind of ruined the game. Uh, I was able to make it so no robots spawned at all, even during alarm phases, they wouldn't even show up, which really made the game extremely boring. And it was kind of creepy walking around this big ship with nothing going on. That is a lot of cubes. Should probably hack this bar up here too so the jacker can instantly win. For people that don't know the storyline of this game, apparently that's her brain in that jar and I'm supposed to be, I guess, protecting it or whatever. I guess that's what Jacker's doing is hacking it and trying to mix it up with the rest of these brains in the background. I didn't really pay much attention to the storyline. I kind of, I think I cut more than half of the game out. I did this. Okie dokie. So that takes my brain and hides it. And that's pretty much the end of the game. There's a cutscene after this, I believe. But I can't skip this part, so I'm kind of stuck watching it.
storyline in this game is pretty crazy. Apparently, they're using, like, human brains to, I guess, kind of like Ghost in a Shell. They're putting human brains in robots, and these people accidentally discovered that that's what they were doing. Though in Ghost in a Shell, I think they had to hook up to a machine of some kind to uh, transfer their soul into a, another robot. A guy needs money to be happy. And that is the end. That's pretty much all I've got for this video. I'm not sure when I will release the table. Um, I still want to add some more stuff to it. But if you have any other requests, leave that in the comment section. And any questions, leave that in the comment section as well.